Yeah, I would say I, I belong to kind of old school of nutrition people, and I, I kind of been doing studies and look at the studies with high carbohydrate for, for years. And that has been recommended by many agencies, whether based on something or not, that's difficult to say, Most, mostly not. But it was just kind of uh, a, agreement with, with, uh, with, with no particular scientific background. So studies that I've looked at at affecting diabetes are or maybe in healthy population, where mainly studies with high, 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 high carbohydrate diets. And uh, a particular con uh, focus of mine, of my group and my research was in the, in the area of so-called polysaccharide or carbohydrate, was whether, whether, whether we can do something better if we know how to select uh, type of polysaccharide or, or carbohydrate, and we come across that actually viscous fiber can do some job. In other words, in other words, we our our understanding of the whole area is that that the carbohydrate quantity is not maybe too important based on the studies, as long as there there is a, something that improves quality of carbohydrate. Some people will say glycemic index. Some people will say I don't know maybe presence of other nutrient. I would say, I would say, uh, I would say, with having very good look at the, at the dietary fiber and particular viscous fiber, maybe all fiber, total fiber, particularly viscous fiber can change the whole whole picture or whole outcome of the carbohydrate, irrespective of quantity. So we we've seen and we we just published a meta-analysis with viscous fiber supplement, but also also in Mali, where we see that uh, adding fiber uh, to to high carbohydrate diet, uh, referring to all the uh, type of studies where carbohydrate was free to say or higher, we've seen a considerable reduction of uh, hemoglobin A1C as a major marker of diabetes of 0.84. If I may notice I, uh, that not, nothing in literature you can see such high reduction of hemoglobin. So way to go, eat whatever you do, which is kind of permissive approach, not restrictive, and then and then add fiber, mean permissive. That is nothing more simple. So you can do anything and change quant uh, quality by adding soluble fiber, viscous fiber, and you are in good business for health. I think ideally would be that we harmonize, but you know, we have to think in the context how easy or complicated it is with the patient, whether they can follow this. That's why I'm kind of giving this very simple permissive, and I, I know I'm exagger exaggerating, but you know, my approach or philosophy to, to life or eating is that you, you should be allowed to eat anything, and you have people around the world that eat different things, and maybe by adding Adding this, or if you like, selecting low GI diet could could help improving their health. So basically, I'm, I'm more kind of flexible in approach, not to restrict this, restrict that, because Excellent. people don't understand they cannot follow this necessarily on long term basis. In practice, would really work, I believe, would would be that you can you can eat anything you like, uh, you know, considering uh, caloric uh, caloric uh, value of the food, and by 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 by. As I said, adding fiber will help, or whole, whole grain, they say, and all GI. So basically, you, you can just have little pay attention of the quality, and then quantity may become a relevant point. And again, viscous fiber will do in my world.